Hello and welcome to another video about Cardano. As always, we're going to take a look at the most recent price moves. And again, thanks a lot for everybody who's been liking my videos, who's been watching them and who's been putting comments into the comment section. I'm really overwhelmed and you guys are just crazy. You're just great. I mean, nearly 4,500 subscribers now. I think we can get there today and I think tomorrow we could even get to the 5,000. So thanks a lot. Growing rapidly this channel. And because you love the content, um, that's at least what I can read in the comments. There's another TA video about Cardano. But before we start with Cardano, we're having a brief look on Bitcoin. I keep it short for today. Um, what we can see that we are still trading on the Bitcoin chart and we are on the daily here um, within this broadening triangle. And it's really hard to say what is going to happen now. What I would like to see really I mean, we've been trading in this broadening triangle now, which is actually a bearish pattern. It signals that we are not really deciding on which way we are going at the moment. On the daily, at least, we are still in bullish territory on the RSI, which actually indicates some move to the upside um, because there is some scope to the upside. And we are actually on the 50 day moving average and oh, sorry, on the 20 day moving average and the 200 and the 50 we are still in an upward trend, even though the 20 day moving average is just changing at the moment and is going a bit more horizontally. Um, we can see that we are currently very close on the daily to the 200 day moving average. So for me, that will be like a, a key moment here. Do we hold this 200 day moving average? Do we make a new higher low? And can we push again to the upside and maybe even make a higher high? And the next high that we are making, for me, that's very crucial. I want to see if we can make a higher high. Do we struggle to make a higher high? Do we lose more momentum? Or can we actually push up to the upside of this um, broadening wedge? So that is, for me, crucial to determine, you know, where could, where could we be going? Because at the moment, all we can say is we're trading in this broadening wedge. We are losing momentum at the moment because, as you can see, this is one trend line here. Um, there's another one. If I if I just drew one from there to there, it's just that we can just see that we are losing a bit of momentum. Just by drawing these lines, you can combine um, connecting the tops to each other. You can see just that we are losing momentum. I mean, this is not a proper trend line because for a proper trend line, you need at least three touches. But still, I just want to show you how we are losing momentum here. And we've exited this white um, ascending wedge, which was a bearish pattern. And at the moment we're trading in this broadening wedge or broadening triangle, but we are still above the 200 day moving average. Today's candle, we are at the moment below the 20 day moving average. We want to stay above that ideally. So today's candle should ideally close above the 20 day moving average. Yesterday's candle did, which is very good. Um, however, today we've already dropped below that. Let's see what happens. In my opinion, we are still losing momentum here, but I'd be prepared for at least shorter term move to the upside again to bounce off either of the 200 day moving average or to close above the 20 day moving average or to bounce off the support level here of the broadening wedge. I think as long as we do one of these things, we shouldn't expect to move to the downside. But as you know, in TA, we can only prepare for a scenario and as soon as we can see a signal because all these indicators and lines they only prepare us for signals but as you know i'm not a day trader or anything if i see us going below the 200 day moving average which is currently here and you can follow that today which is at 46000 so if we go below the 20 uh, the 200 day moving average at 46000 the only other support that i can see here that's immediately helping us is the 45500 Going below that, I think will send us down to around 42,000. And I did say that yesterday, the 42, um, there was a support here, the 42K, I think this one here, I took I took the lines out to keep it a little bit tidy. Um, we can have a look, closer look at that yesterday, but I think it was around 42,000 um, that I would then expect us. Um, but at the moment, yeah, here on the on the daily, we can see that we are still losing momentum. Um, but that's no wonder because we are moving down. So we can see there was a huge candle here, but that is sort of getting smaller now. That's obviously the daily. Quick look at the four hour before we move to Cardano. Um, the four hour chart still a lot of, not very, you know, 
hard to say which move because we are just trading horizontally. Um, if we sh if we look at if we look at um, what kind of pattern that is here, like just that one, for me that could be a bear flag, and the bear flag is bearish. Yeah, so you have got this flagpole here, and then just a channel, okay, and that is likely to break to the downside. So we could break down to like forty five. Yeah, just 45,500. And that means on the daily, we would be breaking below the 200 day moving average. And hopefully here, this lower support level here at 45,500 will hold. If not on the four hour chart, we've got the 200 day moving average here at 43,700, okay? So at the moment for me, it's all looking a little bit more bearish, potential move to the downside, losing quite a bit of momentum and being here in bearish territory on the RSI. Let's go to Cardano because that's what interest as interests us most. What we can see here, a few things. I'm currently looking at the four hour chart of Cardano. Looking here currently at um, yeah, a downtrend. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see it a bit more clearly. And um, let me take that out quickly. So, in my opinion, you know, we've seen that previous pump here in the first half of August and then a correction. And we can see a very similar move at the moment, a very similar move. So we are currently, we've dropped below the 50 day moving average here. We have already dropped below the 20 day a few days ago um, or yesterday actually. And now we are looking below the 50 day moving average. No, sorry, we dropped here below couple of days ago, yeah. Now we've dropped below the 50 as well. The 200 is still coming up, which is which is good. Um, however, what we've done, we had the trend line here. So one trend line was here. Next one is here that was steeper, but now we've actually broken the trend for now. Bear in mind, when looking at that and we took at the, the last one, we did break that trend that we had here as well. So we moved up, up, up. So we broke that, moved to the downside, but then the buyers stepped in fairly quickly. So we had a really strong uh, support by the buyers. We moved up pretty quickly again. What you can see here, which is a bit different this time, we don't really have that strong um, support from the buyers, right? So we've been moving to the downside fairly quickly. Weak consolidation, actually something like a, bull, a bear flag forming here, because you have the flagpole here, like a channel, move to the downside again. And now, in, you know, what we had before were really big green candles coming in and then moving us up again. So you don't really see these big green candles. There was an attempt here um, yesterday evening on the four hour chart, UK time, where you can see that we had a shadow of the candle going up, which means we were already up here at 264 again, but then the seller stepped in again and we're moving slightly down. However, what we can clearly see, the red candles are getting smaller and we are now really, again, very similar to Bitcoin on a horizontal level. What we can see here, we're currently trading in this range that we identified as important support range between 250 and 255. Um, why is it an important support range? Well, it was support before for, we have a few lines here. So for example, the 250 level, the 250 level is actually very close to the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement. So that is my opinion, one reason why we are finding support here. And we had this play out as resistance and support level before. So it is um, definitely holding as support. Unfortunately, we've lost the 50 day moving average. And at the moment, it looks like that we are consolidating a bit. So in, in that short term downtrend, having a consolidation, but the consolidation to the upside is very weak. What we can see, however, and I better go to the one hour chart for, for that. On the one hour chart, we are now also below the 200 day moving average. Yeah, so that is not necessarily a great sign. What we can also see here is on the one hour that we have something forming like a triangle. Yeah, it's a bit hard to see yet. We need to see how this plays out. Not guaranteed that it is a triangle. We need to see a few more candles for that. But if it is one, 
it's a trend continuation pattern. And as we are currently below the 200 day moving average, below the 20 and below the 50, and we've also made that bearish cross here of the 20 day to the 200 day, we could move into the apex here further um, today, basically. Yeah? So today we could be trading sideways. Also, one reason that shows me that is that really we've, um, we've lost some momentum to the downside. So we've had these swing high, well, not really a swing high, swing low. It's only on the one hour chart, but we've traded between this, um, these levels. I take the Fibonacci out because that's a bit clearer to see then. So that should be a bit better to see now. Um, you can see if we combine all these wicks here, even that one, all the shadows of the candle, you can see that we've got one, two, three, at least three touches, which is what we mean. Uh, what we need actually it's three touches is, is great if you have more touches it's a bit difficult it's more difficult to draw a profit from trading because a pattern is more obvious but you need three to validate it and we currently have three on the upside and the downside so yeah looks to me like a something like a, um, a triangle pattern which you know within which we could be trading today so it could be really a sideways move Tr sending no um uh, such a Symmetrical triangle, this is, um, is actually a trend continuation pattern. But I said, as we're in a, in a downtrend here, at least on the one hour chart, this could prepare us for further moves to the downside. And yesterday I identified this level here as next main support for me, the 220. So that is something to watch out for. But as you know, in, these, in, these, in this world here, nothing is guaranteed. Um, for me at the moment, yeah, I think looking at that, if the price consolidates like that, and I don't see a, a buy signal, just looking at the indicators for me, this could move to the downside then. But definitely we need to wait, probably today, um, we'll move closer into the apex and we've been tr we'll probably be trading sideways. That's what we've done the last few times when they had a similar formation. And it's just really to prepare you for that. We don't really see a lot of buyers come in. There were some attempts, but then huge, well, huge, big red candle again, engulfing red candle. And again, buyers tried to step in here. You can see that losing momentum here on the one hour chart because you can really see here smaller green candles, smaller green candles, barely able to make a new high. And even here we, we've lost, we didn't even make a new high. Um, just comparing these two here. That even looks like a bull, um, a small double top, very small double top to be honest. But um, yeah, we're currently, from that point of view, in my opinion, in a bearish pattern, just because we are um, just preparing um, and by moving into the apex and it's a trend continuation pattern, that symmetrical triangle. So that is definitely something to look out for on the one hour chart. And today, so in my opinion, if today we are breaking below like the 250, um, that, that actually moving up a little bit during the day. But I think today, if we're moving below the 250, be prepared that we could have another faster sell-off, for example, like here, um, that could take us down to 220, unfortunately. Don't really see the bullish signals at the moment. The only thing that is looking interesting is that the bears are losing a bit of momentum because we can see that the trend is slowing down, the downtrend is slowing down a little bit, but I don't see enough support from the buyers yet and also we are below all moving averages on the one hour chart quickly on the four hour once more but we can see the similar situation here play out on the four hour not really the any green candles the only good thing is that really the buyers seem to have no the buyers have tried to come in the sell-off is losing momentum a little bit so i just want to prepare you for that this is as i said probably a, a trend continuation pattern. We also in the, the RSI is showing bearish here on the four hour. Uh, we are below 50. The, the only thing, I mean, it could, it can always go up as well. And you know that it all depends on Bitcoin as well. But when we go up, we certainly should be above 260. Um, that's when it could break out to the upside. But then, for example, if we go up and we struggle to make a new high, so we struggle to get above that level here, like the 277, for example. Yeah, that was an attempt of the bulls to go back. Yeah, so like consolidation again in that huge sell-off, consolidation again, 
weak, weak to the upside, sell off again, maybe another weak consolidation here again to the upside, might be another sell off. It's just because at the moment on the one hour and the four hour chart, we can clearly see that we can, that we are moving into a downtrend at the moment. The, what could be happening is that, for example, this 20 day moving average is going to cross the 50 to the downside, and that could really lead to a breakout to the downside of this triangle. Yeah, so I just want to prepare you for that. Watch out for these levels of 250 to the downside and 260 to the upside. If we break them, for me, these are two important levels to watch for. And in trading or in um, technical analysis, we can only identify different scenarios and then identify key levels. And when these levels are broken, then we can react. But for me, this channel is not about giving signals necessarily. We all want to make sense of what's going on, what's happening with price action. And for me, this is looking at the moment more bearish. Um, same with Bitcoin. You know, it, it, I, I, I expect it could go down a little more. Um, I'm of course happy if it goes the other way. All right, so I think that's the update this morning. Um, hope you liked that update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you wanna follow me on this crypto journey, then please subscribe. Then please don't forget that all of this, if we see more the prices going down, I, I personally have my diamond hands, so I'm going to buy more um, if prices drop further. So actually for any long-term holder, that is not a bad thing. So yeah, hope I'll see you in the next video. There'll be another update, of course, today. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Bye.